everybody. What's up? Steeler Stacker here. I'm going to do something a little different today. I just wanted to share with you guys my, um, my copper collection I got going on. So, um, I got a cigar box off here to the left. You can see that's got lots of copper in it. So let's, let's start it off and share it with you. We got right here. The 1909, the famous 1909. One ounce, pure copper. Then, followed up with the 1909, beautiful, S, five ounce, pure copper. So there's two right off the get-go, two sweet ones, right? Then we got, I wish you were here, Ron. These are very nice. Very, very nice. There's an, I got another one. We just seen it. So there's two of those. We'll follow it up with. Let's get into these ones right here real quick. I'll get in all the ones I got in airtights. I don't have them all in airtights, but we'll do the airtights first. This is a cool one. I just love copper because the, look at the detail. You can still see in these, you know, and they're affordable. Um... This is a YouTube two of three. I got this off of Joe Durbin a long time ago, back in October, no, probably back in November. Maybe in October, actually. It's one of my first auction buys, it truly was, from the Misplaced Yoper. Yep, if you're watching Misplaced Yoper, I got one of your two of three copper rounds, man. I do, I do. Uh, we got the Indian Head. Way cool. Upside down, sorry. We got Buffalo. I think the Indian head's on the other side of this one. Yeah, look at that. Got the Indian head on the other side of this bad boy. Very cool. I've got quite a few of these, but I only got one of them. See the bottom right there where it says fine copper? It's actually upside down, sorry. But the bottom does say fine copper. And then that lets you know what side you need to have. And then you got the dragon. Look at that. Oh, he's upside down too. Wow, wow, wow. What are you going to say about that? Look at that dragon there, man. Check him out. Isn't that unbelievable? These dragon rounds are crazy. This side's my favorite side, though. I love that eyeball, man. Color that in with some enamel or some. Ooh, antique it, maybe. Yeah. Let's go to the other ones. This is a Zombux pile here. We got the standing, the starving liberty. I wish I had the whole set of these, but I don't. I wish I did, but I don't. Zombux. These are so cool. These Zombux are cool. Then we got the barber with the scissors in his eyeballs. Definitely. Boom. Another one. We got another barber. I'll trade you a barber for a, a Z different Zombox that I don't have. Boom, Zombox. Two barbers. I got four barber Zombox. I would love to trade three of these for other Zombox. Just putting that out there, man. We've seen it, we've seen it. I got another one. They're all in air tights, too. All my Zombox are in air tights, and they're all beautiful. But I'd trade three of these. I have the Starving Liberty, the... And the barber. I thought I had another one. But anyway, I thought I had three. I might only have two. I might come across it if I don't. But here we go, moving on. But I'll trade that for more of uh, different Zombucks. Standing Liberties. These are really cool. And this is one of the backs of a coin that I do like. You know what I mean? This is very nice. That back's very nice. Some of them have some cool ones. Some of them are cheesy, but there's another one in the Dragon series, man. The Aztec. Wow, the eye. I love the dragons, man. Got another. ASE. Oh, yeah, there's another Wish You Were Here. So I got three of these. Three of the aliens. I do believe in aliens, so I love them ones. 
Got me a cool prospector one. Look at the detail on that bad boy. Prospector. And the back in the same way, man. I mean, super duper detail. Get some. Share with your neighbor. We got a little pass. Pretty cool. I got a ton of them in here. Got some bars. Got this one. Got this one. I bought a bunch of uh, very cool. I think it's like a, it's like a mirror. It really is so nice. And then that one, the hundred dollar bill and the one dollar bill. I bought a bunch of these uh, air tights for so I can have them in ease, and they end up don't fit. See how the corners are rounder on that one than they are on that one. Got a tighter corner. My things won't fit. These won't fit in there, man. They're too tight to fit in there. It does drive me nuts. I'm like, come on, man. Come on, man. You know what I mean? Got all these coppers, man. We're not even halfway through all these yet. Got the Aztec one. Two ounce Aztec copper round. It's a beast. It is so cool. Look at the detail on that. Put it with the five ounce here. More dragons. Got lots of the dragons, man. I really do. I got quite a few of the dragons got them you like and then i got a bunch of these older style um coppers that represent the older style currency that we had right so that was the barber i think they call this one the flowing hair liberty i think i'm not sure don't quote me on it we got another liberty head one but there's no date on that one but that was an old coin probably from the early 18s maybe late 1700s there's another one 1836 Liberty, different styles from, you know, different eras. There's the 1909. Yeah, baby. And it looks like the real penny front and back, which is so cool. I got more, got more of them. Don't go crazy yet. This Freedom one's awesome. I love the Freedom one. And the back of that one's awesome right there. Silver Shield. Pull back. Gotta love it. We got uh, this dragon. Cheesier dragon, but it's still a dragon. It has a chicken on the back. You know what I mean? That's an, actually an older design from a coin anyway, that chicken. Chicken. Bok, bok. And we got another one up there, Penny, 1909ers. With the back, like a real penny. Penny. We got ourselves constitutional right to bear arms, baby. Second Amendment. We all believe in the Second Amendment right there. Read it. Cool. Pause that. Then we got here. Debt slavery. These are awesome. Pretty cool back on it also. Crescent City Silver, baby. Debt slavery. Boom. Digging out more. Let's go for another handful. And we got the COVID rounds. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Beautiful little thing. The back on these ain't too bad. It's all right, man. It's all right. It's all right. But we got some COVIDs. We got the COVID. You saw the back already. Oh, we got the Trump round. Yes, we do. Right there. That's what he's saying. Look at that. He's giving what? There he is. He's saying up yours the back of trump look like trump got a cool back silver shield back got a nice one and we got what here oh we got this uh famous famous hiroshima february 2nd 1945 salute to our military service there we go look at that face reveal peace there we got another Standing Liberty. We're into 10 minutes. Well, I'm going to keep going, man. Just showing my stuff off. If you want to keep watching, keep watching. If you don't, jump off. Panda! With that back on it again. Girls, girls. With the date on it right there. Look, 2012. I didn't notice that until just now. Okay, let's get into the Mercury Dime ones. These are awesome. They look like the Merc Dime. Look at that. Look at the detail on the Merc Dime. And the cool... Mercury dime back on those. Just like the real Merc dime. I got one of those. I got two of those. 
Oh, we're back into the dragons again. More drag ons. Yes. Wow. But I bought, I think I bought a set of five of these. Double eyeball. Whoop, whoop, whoop. We got some eagles here. A set of the eagles. See how you know I am? I put them in the flip so they're exactly the same on those. Check that out. With the shield on the back. That's a decent back. Not the most perfect back, but you know, another one of them. Uh, Mercury Dimers. There's some Halloween ones. One of these in a gaw. From uh, Silver Scorpion. They got the chicken on the back. There's another one from the gaw. Chicken on the back. They're so shiny, too. Shark on that one. Megalodon. Chicken on the back. African Wildlife. Chicken on the back. Rhinoceros. And we got American Wildlife, the lion. Yeah, man. So then we're dying too. We got some Mercury Dime. These are quarter ounce. Quarter ounce. Little baby ones. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Little baby ones. Maybe you'll see it somewhere. Fine copper. right there written but we can't see it i see it right there one quarter you see it and yeah, there we go quarter ounce yep a little bag full of the quarter ounce ones of the what were they the mercuries and i got a few just a few left of the standing liberty copper this will let you see what a real standing liberty should look like that's what a freaking beautiful standing liberty would look like but i got it in copper one two three four them last but not least my two custom copper pours. Here's the first one from Scrapping, Hoarding, Tinkering, Fun! And he puts his little logo right back here. 12 minute video and still rolling. Thank you for sticking with me if you're still here. And my crab round, double crab. See the crab right there? And his little claws. And there's the second crab down below. Yeah, baby, double crab hand pour. From the same guy, Scrapping, Tinkering, Scrapping, hoarding, tinkering, fun. 3.58 ounces of copper. Beautiful pour, that thing's heavy, chunky monkey. And then that one, how much did it weigh? Let's show you real quick. Let's get the weight on that one. It's a 2.4 ounce weight right there. 2.40 ounce weight. Thank you if you stayed the whole way through. I appreciate every ounce of you. That is my copper collection to date and growing all the time. Make sure you guys take care, stay safe, and do me a big favor. Oh, two more left. Didn't show you the Indians. Oh yeah, if you made it this far, you got to see the two Indians. That is a cool one. I think these are pretty much the coolest ones in the whole bunch, seriously, I really do. Only because watch when I flip them over. Them backs are amazing. These should be, Golden State Mint, you do a nice job. These should be like a collector's item. I just love the backs. One's a little tone more than the other one. American Indian series. Yes, these are cool. Very, very cool. But if you made it this far, take care. Stay safe. Like I always say, please go out and do something nice for someone. And keep on stacking, stacking, stacking.